Okay, everybody, I think I found out what the problem was with the stalling of these 3.3s for the O2 Chrysler Town and Country. Uh, I've been going down the list one by one. Uh, I did a throttle body service. You can see my throttle body's clean. I pulled out the idle air control valve, cleaned that, put, reinstalled it. Still did the same thing. Uh, I have a code for the idle air temperature switch, so we're going to change that out here pretty soon so it'll pass smog when it's time. Everything we've done to it, uh, the throttle body service, we changed the intake gaskets, check fuel pressure, everything is good the way it's supposed to. I did. I found a posting on the map sensor and I really wasn't 200% sure that that's what it could have been, but you be the judge and you see what I see. First, I have the original map sensor plug. It's plugged in right now. Uh, I heard that the computer will go into a relearn procedure and go off the last information of the the correct way that it was running when something's disconnected. But it'll only do that for a short period of time. So I'm going to demonstrate to you what my problem is. Uh, you're going to see that I'm going to start the vehicle. It's going to idle. I'm going to drop it in the drive and it's going to stall with the connector plugged in. And uh, baby stand to the side when the car's running uh, we don't want it to go forward so right there we're good I'm gonna start it and show you what my problem is I have the e-brake on and I'm also applying the brakes at the same time died there so now we're going to disconnect the plug and see if it goes back to its uh, original factory settings. So the thing is we're going to change that mass airflow sensor. First I want to pull it to see what it looks like and I'll let you guys see that. So as soon as I pull it we're going to see the condition of it. Maybe it's just dirty and we can put it back on or we just let's just replace it. Let's check this out. Okay I pulled off the map sensor. Doesn't look like it's something that needs to be clean. This is probably vacuum operated. You can see in there obviously it's got so oilish muck that's in there which is the same exact stuff I pulled off the throttle body so uh, we may have something like a bad PCV that's stuck open and it's letting oil go in or it's got see how many miles this thing got it's got a hundred and seventy two thousand hundred and fourteen miles on it so I don't think the engines worn out but there are uh, 
lots of problems to this minivan. I mean, don't get me wrong. This minivan's full of problems, but we're just trying to keep it running. So it's got 172,114 miles. So since we can't clean it, we're just gonna replace it. All right, so I'll keep you posted. 